This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Let's talk Free Stater success statistics. Let's also talk about some trouble that appears to be brewing on the horizon. A series of different statistics that I've been watching uh, have sort of combined to paint a relatively drab picture for the coming year. It's just the uh, just a hint of a malaise issue. And if we're lucky, hopefully it's not the tip of a malaise iceberg. Anyway, the first thing that I noticed uh, that uh, got me a little bit worried is that the Porcupine Fest 2012 apparently was about the same size as Porcupine uh, Pork Fest uh, 2011. It, it uh, I, I don't even know that there was an, I don't even know if it was bigger at all. For just about the, the first time I can ever remember, Porcupine Fest didn't get really much bigger and it didn't get, didn't seem to get more exciting. Another uh, number that uh, seems to kind of show a gray horizon is um, uh, our, our pre the pre well I, maybe I should call them my projections for how many free staters we're going to have in the house uh, in the next session. I've run the numbers two different ways, and uh, both ways lead me to a projection that we will lose one seat. Now, currently there are 13 free staters in the house, roughly, and I'm projecting that we're going to have 12 at, at the next session. Now, that's I'm not a researcher or a pollster or anything like that. These are just kind of quick assessments of the number of people that ran, the number of people that won their primaries. There were an estimated 27 that, run, uh, that ran, <clears throat> an estimated 18 survived their primaries. Uh, and if we project that... Um, that two-thirds of them win in the general election, uh, then we're looking at uh, just 12 seats that we still hold. Now, <clears throat> this doesn't sound like a huge loss, and it's not it really a loss much at all, but uh, in the history of the Free State Project, there has never been um, a situation where the numbers of Free Staters in the House went down. Unless you count um, 2004 or 2006, when I think some people who already lived here and were Free Staters uh, lost their seats. These were not mover, uh, recent movers. They were people who uh, already lived in New Hampshire when the Free State Project got started and joined it while they were in the house. Anyway, from about 2004 until today, the history of the Free State Project in the New Hampshire House of Representatives has been one of, of uh, you know almost unmitigated growth, exponential growth. We had <clears throat> two reps, then we had one, then we had four, then we had um, 12, or, you know, 13. And the idea was, you know, no matter which way the political wind is blowing, we're always growing. But to be static, even for this one uh, election, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the, the historical precedent of what happened to the United States, you know, where it was growing, growing, everything was great, and you're doing better and better, winning every war from... Uh, you know, from 1816 all the way up to <clears throat> all the way up to uh, 1946, but then they had one war that they didn't win, the Korean War, and from there on, um, things sort of started to go downhill for the American Empire. And that's, I think, some historians are starting to point at that as the the uh, watershed moment. Well, we don't want that to happen to us, um, and I wasn't even really going to. You get too much into this until another statistic came out. Uh, and that is uh, on Channel uh, 9, WMUR is reporting some kind of poll results that indicate the Republicans themselves may lose control uh, of the uh, New Hampshire House. And which to me, that, that blows out anything I would have predicted, you know, a month ago. My expectation was that the Republicans who dominate the House right now would lose moderately, you know, <clears throat> probably about 30 to 50 seats and maintain control over the House, just less control. But um, <clears throat> the, 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 the poll numbers indicate a slight, um, a slight advantage to the Democrats uh, coming out of the um, 
2012 election. They, they, they would get a small majority, very small majority in the House. Governor election has been uh, um, very tight, seeming to lean slightly toward the Republican, uh, the guy who, guy who is uh, relatively free state or friendly. <clears throat> anyway, you know, this could be a, just a bump in the road, followed by more glorious expansion on the part of the free staters. Um, but there's there's more statistics that I would need to have coming in uh, to, to be able to say that because right now I'm having trouble. I don't I don't find it very easy to track the numbers of free staters. I, I guess the the numbers that that have, that have moved you can track. The numbers that have joined the project you can track that. But it's hard to track the join up rate, the sign up rate, and the moving rate. I think what I need to start doing is just taking snapshots every few months, just copying the data, uh, and then going back and looking at it myself, because there's not really a, well, the growth history uh, is hard to track. But I would like to be able to say to you, hey, there have been a lot, the, the, the number of people who move each month has gone up this year from last year. Or I'd like to be able to say the number of signups per month um, has gone up this year over last year. I can't say that because I haven't been able to track those numbers yet. I'm going to start. Now, if you can look at the statistics at freestateproject.org and make better heads or tails out of them than I can, or if you know a resource that I don't know of, that's great. Tell me about it. Put it in the comments section. What do you think? Is the, is the number of free staters moving to New Hampshire increasing per month or decreasing? This edition of the Ridley Report was brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, working to fight for freedom in New, in New Hampshire State House. But you know how I'm always saying that if you if you do this at the New Hampshire State House, you're gonna you're gonna hit one of the one of the New Hampshire Liberty activists. Well, uh, let's just try it and see what happens. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey! Uh, see, it works. See, if you if you do this at the New Hampshire State House, you will hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. This is Dave Ridley signing off for. BidleyReport.com, sponsored by NHLiberty.org. You guys can say it. NHLiberty.org. No, that's not how I say it. NHLiberty.org. <laughs> O-R-G. All right. Thanks, not guys. Not that anymore, dog. <laughs> NHLiberty.org.